We cover the whole of the Middle Ages from the earliest period, so from late antiquity, basically the end of the Roman Empire, all the way up to the, I guess, the Renaissance, the beginning of the 16th century. Uh, we don't distinguish really uh, between the early Middle Ages and the late Middle Ages rigidly, and um, we have people working here from every sub-period within the Middle Ages. One of the key skills that our students get um, is training in the major Western European uh, languages of literature. So uh, we offer skills courses in Latin, uh, Old English, Old Norse, Old French, Middle Welsh, um, uh, and um, we also offer people skills training in paleography so people will learn how to use the original manuscripts too. In terms of employability jobs, uh, there's lots of graduates continuing to further study. We have lots of PhD students who stay at York and who else go elsewhere. Uh, but for those who don't want to continue, lots of people go into uh, the heritage sector, uh, museums, uh, also libraries and archives, um, but and also the kind of um, kind of jobs that lots of people with graduate degrees in English studies do, so um, teaching, uh, journalism, that kind of thing. In terms of our applicants, uh, what we like uh, most is to see people who have a demonstrable interest in the Middle Ages. Um, so uh, they don't have to have a first degree in English uh, per se, uh, they have a degree in history or any other uh, subject where there's a, they have a real interest, demonstrable interest in the literature of the Middle Ages.